Yo, what up, my is Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to de-bloat your NVIDIA drivers. Uh, it's going to be how to just, you know, strip them, de-bloat them, whatever you want to call it, and uh, here we go. So we got two programs right here that we're going to need to install. They'll be linked in the description. they DDU, which is a display driver on installer, and then NV Clean install. Now, for getting a strip driver, you can do multiple different ways. There's NV Slimmer. You can also do it from the actual files if you extract the install of the driver, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to use NV Clean install because it's really easy and fast. First thing you want to do is uh, do this, is download this. Now, keep in mind, if you've installed a custom ISO file, the one that I've recommended, uh, recommend like GGOS or Revo OS or Nexus OS, one of those three. Um, currently, actually, to be honest, yesterday I actually switched to GGOS. So a lot of the comments on my video told me that was better, and, and I did use it, but I didn't really test it that much. Tested a couple times, and I feel like it's been better ever since I switched over from Revo to GGOS. But what we're gonna do is, uh, so if you if you've Install the custom ISO. You don't need to do the display driver on installer, but if you already have a driver installed, like let's say you're using like a regular Windows, Windows, um, you're gonna have to do this. Okay, so you just wanna double click this. It's gonna press OK. It's gonna close the MSI After Burner. If you have that open, it's also going to ask you or tell you to go into safe mode. Don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Now, so what you're gonna do here, this is just the options. Now, there really is no options in here that are important. Important. If you don't want to restore point, you can disable that here, but I recommend doing that. The other thing that I recommend doing is like 100% needed is prevent downs from Windows Update. That's if you have regular Windows installed. If you don't, if you have like, uh, if you have Ghost Spectre installed, you're going to need to turn this on because Ghost Spectre is dog shit. But if you um, have a regular Windows install, you want to have this on because what, so what's going to happen is if you don't have this on and you just uh, uninstall your drivers, it'll actually... When you reach your computer, it'll reinstall another driver. Or even if you don't even reach your computer, it'll reinstall another driver. So I recommend doing this, and then uh, press press close, press OK here, and then once you go here, go to device, go to GPU, go to your uh, graphics card, go to NVIDIA, and then press on clean and restart. What it's going to do is it's going to create a restore point. It's then going to clean the driver, uninstall it. Your screen will look smaller. It'll then reach your computer. It'll boot up, and this will finish cleaning up. Once it's done finished cleaning up, you can actually like you don't need to open this anymore. You don't. You also don't need to restart. You can just do clean and don't restart, and that'll pretty much do the same thing. And then once you have your driver uninstalled, you'll know if you right-click and you don't have this, um, and your screen is also in like 480 by 480 or something, like a really small resolution, you'll notice it. Once you have that, you're going to go to you're gonna double click uh, the MV clean install. Let it load a little bit. What it's going to do is actually going to load all the drivers that are available on the NVIDIA website or through the downloads, and um, we're going to wait for this to load up here. Now it's actually loaded up here. Um, we're gonna press on manually and select the driver because sometimes it says best for hardware, but we're just gonna do manual. Usually best for hardware is also the best driver here. But we're gonna go to uh, manual select. Now there's three drivers. Two of them are kind of are more more recommended ones, but there's other one. There's another one I want you to show. You, I want to show you too. So first driver is four five. Here it is four five seven point three zero. That's the first driver. Um, that's recommended if you have a card that's like a 20 series card or a 10 series card, so like a 1060, 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, or if you have like a 20 or 2070, 2060, um, 2080, those cards, this is recommended to use this version. Now, if you have a 30 series card, they recommend, I think it's 46192, where'd it go? Right here, 461.92. I'm actually gonna double check that to make sure that's right. I'm pretty sure that's what those versions are. Um, Yes, 461.92 and 457.30 are the recommended. You can also test um, 441.41. So 441.41, you can test this one if you want. You can also do another test, 466.11. That's always also been recommended as being good. But the main two are 457.30, this one, or the 4. 61.92 right here. Okay, so once you have this installed, okay, once you've done this, I'm going to do 467. These are these are really confusing. 457.30. I'm going to press on next. It's going to ask me what I want to install for the component components. I'm going to press on recommended right here and then just uncheck, uncheck, not uncheck, uncheck HD audio because we don't need that. Press on next. It's going to copy the installer and do this. Now I don't really want to install this, so this is just gonna I'm just gonna show you 
the next step. I actually have a pair share I can show you too. If you have GDOS, you actually can do this. Um, but I'm just going to wait for this to load up. So once your install, install is done on the MV clean install, it'll pop up this window right here. You want to press on disable this, perform a clean install, show expert tweaks, disable this, disable this, or not, not this, enable this, and then down at the bottom, press on use method compatibility, press next. It th it's then going to um, go through the installer here. I'm actually going to close this because I don't need it installed on my computer. So I'm just going to close that. Um, but that's all you got to do. It'll ask you to open up the installer, the, like the usual NVIDIA installer. And once, it do once it's done that, just install it. And then uh, you should have a good um, NVIDIA um, driver. Now, the next thing, this is kind of important, but go through your control panel too. Make sure you go to adjust image settings and make sure it's set on you. Just use advanced 3D image. And then manage 3D settings should be set to pretty much exactly what mine is right here. Now some of these can be different if you want to use them. Um, another thing too is you can also turn up your vibrance if you want to as well. Make sure your resolution or your hertz is set to um, 144 hertz right there. There's also things you can do like import specific um, NIPs. What NIPs are is like a, a pro, uh, NVIDIA um, profile inspector. So if we look up NVIDIA profile inspector, this. So you can download this if you want. This will be also linked in the description. So I'm just going to download this really quick. Show in folder. Extract. Double click. And you have this. Right click it as administrator. And what this will do is it'll open up this little menu. You've probably seen this. You might not. Have. Um, but go to the top left. Go to import user defined um, profiles. Click on profiles. And then here I actually have a whole folder of nips that people use. So there's Fortnite, you have Cat, you have Auto Tweaking, and then you have Low Latency, Minimalistic, ton of different nips here. You can try them all of you all of, all of you want. I use this one. I don't know which one's better. I honestly don't notice a difference in any of them, but you can try them if you want to try them. I'll uh, I'll link the um that folder down below too. That's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. Um, nothing really else you need to do here. Um. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the description or in the comments, and uh, peace out.